This is a guide on replacing an LCD panel on the HP EliteBook 2540P. To begin, disconnect the AC power and remove the battery. Remove four small rubber bumpers in four corners of the bezel. Using a Torx 9 screwdriver, remove four bezel screws, one in each corner. Proceed to remove the bezel. Start by freeing up the bottom edge and then the top edge. Move on to the side edges. Be patient and try not to break too many plastic tabs underneath. In order to expose the LCD mounting screws, loosen two Torx 9 screws, one in each bottom corner. Two or three twists should lower the back cover sufficiently. Remove four Phillips screws, two on each side of the LCD. Carefully pull the LCD forward to expose the webcam connector. Using a pick or a flat screwdriver, disconnect the white jack and put the LCD on the keyboard. Peel the securing tape on the video connector and carefully, using both hands, disconnect the video jack from the LCD board. Set the old screen aside. At this point, the new LCD can be installed. Remove it from the anti-static bag and place the bag on the keyboard to protect the screen from scratches. Place the new screen on the keyboard and align it with the video cable. Plug the video jack in the video connector on the LCD board. And secure the clear tape over it. Secure the video cable and stand the LCD up in its place. Reconnect the white webcam connector. Bend out the protective film tabs and remove the protective film. Align the LCD with its mounting brackets and secure four Phillips screws, two on each side. Tighten two Torx 9 screws near the hinges, one in each bottom corner. At this point, the new LCD can be tested. Reconnect the AC power and press the power button. If the startup graphics appear, the new screen is installed properly. Hold the power button to cancel the boot up and disconnect the AC power. Replace the plastic bezel. Secure it by firmly squeezing its perimeter around the screen assembly. Replace four Torx 9 screws, one in each corner. Replace the four rubber bumpers on each screw. Reconnect the battery and the AC power. And you're done.